what's going on YouTube? Andre Berto versus Victor Ortiz, man. Andre Berto took care of business. Uh, he got the knockout on the fourth round. But to me, the best part of the fight was the, doing the Google, uh, the Google Hangout with EJ, man. I'm, here, I'm, I'm up here watching the fight, you know, live, you know, and um, in the Hangout. So, like, everybody's, like, watching the fight th together. It was, like, Ben Umar, Chris Caban, Natty Turner. You know, you got T, uh, myself. And everybody's like going back and forth and stuff like talking junk before the fight and stuff like that. And EJ is about to renege on his pick because he had Victor Ortiz and stuff like that. So, uh, but he was about to renege because uh, what's his name wasn't in the corner. I think it was uh, Joel Diaz. Well, like Timothy, Timothy Bradley's former trainer, Diaz. He wasn't in the corner. He was like, oh, man, I might have to renege on my pick. But anyway, long story short, man. Um, yeah, Berto, I guess, was down in the second, right? So, Berto was down in the second. And then, um, you know, this is, like, right before, uh, in the first round, Victor Cheese like, suffered a cut on his head. It was, like, a, from a headbutt, whatever, like that. A headbutt he initiated, whatever. And I felt, I felt as if that was going to have a psychological effect. But Victor Ortiz, he kept his composure. Second round, ended up getting a knockdown versus Andre uh, Berto. Berto was looking kind of hesitant and stuff like that. He was squared up, got knocked down or whatever like that. So it took him a while to get his composure and stuff like that, right? So at this point in the, sec in the second round, Man, EJ was talking like mad junk. He's like, oh, look at your boy, your boy garbage. You know, you know, he was really getting into it. Uh, I think T was feeling it too, man. T was feeling it too. Anyway, third round, uh, Berto gets into it, man. Third third round, Berto's getting into it. You know what I'm saying? He's controlling the round. You know, he's getting his rhythm and stuff like that. You know, uh, Berto's been around a lot, and he's been through some wars, man. That, um... The stuff he been through caused a lot of uh, neurological damage, especially uh, Soto Carras, Robert, um, Robert Garcia, you know, being lit up. Then you got Victor Ortiz lighting him up, too. You know, that can have a lot of damage on uh, uh, not only your psyche, but just your ne your neurological, uh, you know, center. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, and, you know, just your overall function, your body function, function neurologically. So, but anyway, long story short, he was just finally getting to a rhythm in the third. And uh, Natty was arguing, like, yeah, man, he winning this round. He winning this round. Like, coming out to the end. <laughs> then uh, EJ's like, no, nah, he lost that round, man. Victor Ortiz, man, he's up, man. He's up, Natty. He's up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> get it to Natty. Natty's like, PO'd. And I'm like, nah, man, he like won that round. He controlled the round, you know? But anyway, it was pretty much. EJ and Natty, man. EJ and Natty was, like, really going at it, man. It was really good stuff, man. Check out EJ Boxing's live um, YouTube channel. And I've, he already posted up that video. So it's been posted for a minute. But, yeah, man. So he was like, man, you know, going into the fourth, he's like, man, Victor Ortiz, he won the first four rounds. And Natty's like, man, what are you talking about he won the first? We was like, we in the fourth round. Like, he already gave Victor Ortiz the fourth round. Before the fourth round even started. Like, what you talking about? Uh, you know, EJ, you know what I'm saying? Like, you buys. You know, that's why you can't, uh, that's why your scorecard's messed up. And then, <laughs> so they start going back and forth with the scorecards and everything, man. That stuff was hilarious, man. Y'all got to check that out, man. So going into the fourth, man, you know what happened. Andre Berto gets, a like, a wicked uppercut on Victor Ortiz. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And from there on, I just knew Victor Ortiz was done. I was like, man, he's done. He quit, man. He quit. Like, he's done. I knew he was done. As soon as that knocked down, I had like, bam. Because it was like a, it was a good, it was a good punch. It was a good knockdown. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no delayed reaction, nothing like that. He got hit it in the chin. He fell down. Then he sort of like backed up, laid up on the ropes with his hands down and stuff like that. And Andre Berto went in for the kill. And they got kind of tangled up or whatever like that. And then Jack Reese broke him up. Then uh, Andre Berto, he got back to it. Victor Ortiz, 
He he didn't try to defend himself to me. I mean, I know he's going to look like it, but to me, he didn't, man. He laid up on the ropes was like, take me out, man. That's what he did. He laid up on the ropes and he gave the gesture like, lay me out. Finish me. Finish me, Andre Berto. That's what he was saying. He's like, finish me. I'm done. I already mentally checked out. Andre Berto hits him again. He falls to the ground again. Uh, he was acting like he couldn't get up or whatever like that. Acting like he didn't know where he was. Which could have been the case, but being that he's a quitter, you know, you can't really believe him. You know what I'm saying? The dude got a long track record of quitting, you know, Victor Ortiz. So, long story short, man, great performance by Andre Berto. Uh, great finish. Again, uh, he, avenged, he avenged his loss. Um, I don't know where he goes from here. Um... But yeah, he he bought himself another fight. You know what I'm saying? He got himself another fight. He got paid to do this one. You know, headline this one. You know, this car, whatever like that. You know, in Vegas. I mean, excuse me, in California, Stub Hub Center. So with that being said, man, um, I don't know what they're going to do next. I, 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 You know, a lot of people criticizing him. You know, I think it was Paulie Malignaggi. You know, saying like, who does he beat? You know, now, Earl Spence, no. Lamont Peterson, maybe. But, um, yeah, it'd be hard to say who's going to beat. You know, if he can beat any of these guys in the top 20, he probably can beat Paulie Malignaggi. So, you never know. Uh, Maybe Bam Bam Rios. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know, you know, I, I would like to see him against that uh, Aussie guy, uh, the dude from I think New Zealand or something, uh, Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn and took him a, a while uh, to take out, you know, uh, Randall ba- Bailey. He had a dude from Australia, and he did get knocked down, you know, versus Randall Bailey. So. Maybe that's a good fight for Andre Berto, man. Y- y'all let me know, man. Does Andre Berto have a chance against any of these other guys? You know, based on his performance with Victor Ortiz, he—he, he, I mean, he does show signs, show signs of being like shot or whatever. But he still has pop. Um, he was able to react to that jab. He was able to slip that jab and get in that upcut. I mean, it could happen to anybody. You know, it can happen to anybody, you know what I'm saying, as far as, uh, you know, getting hit. I mean, Randall Bailey was able to uh, knock down Jeff Horn. He was able to catch him, even though Randall Bailey was like 41 years old. You know what I'm saying? He's been in the game for a long time. Power is the last thing to go. I mean, a good example of that is uh, Foreman versus uh, Michael Moore. You get what I'm saying? You got somebody standing right in front of you, allow you to hit him. Um, you, can get, you have a very good chance of getting him out of there. And... So, I mean, that's what happened. You know, Victor Ortiz, you know, he started letting his hands go, started let let that jab go. It was like uh, he hung it out there a little bit too long. Andre Berto had a um, he he had enough wherewithal. He was able to the counter and get an uppercut. You know what I'm saying? So he was able to find some kind of rejuvenation and get get it done. So let me know what y'all think, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.